I started putting Aquaphor on my eyebrows. I put it on this one. I haven't put it on this one. Can you tell the difference? I don't know. But I'm still gonna do it. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Brandon Lord. Um, I'm not quite sure what this video is gonna be, but I don't know. Just like a random vlog. We'll see. I think I'm just gonna vlog throughout the weekend and see what I get. And then whatever I film will be the video. And you're gonna have to deal with it. It is Friday, another summer Friday. So I have the day off. Um, it's 1.30. I'm going to USPS to drop off a package I'm returning. It's these brown and black sandals from Zara. I was really excited when I got them. I don't know, I just wanted a new sandal and these seemed cute. But I think I got a size too small because I'm a 10 in shoes. But I like to size up a little in sandals because I feel like when I get a 10 and I like walk in them, it feels like they're about to like come off my feet. So I like them a little bigger. Um, so I got a 10, so they felt a little small. And then there's that strap on the top that it's like so tight on my foot, it like hurts. So yeah, I was thinking about just getting them a size up, but I decided they just don't look that cute on me anyways. So I'm just returning them. I think there's a Sprouts near the post office that I'm going to, and I kind of want to check it out. I've been wanting to check Sprouts out because I've heard they had like good, like healthy meals and like healthy snacks and stuff like that. And we'll see. I did last night. Okay, I'm so proud of myself. Last night I ran and I actually ran, like I jogged a full mile and I did it in, now I'm not saying this is fast, but for me who doesn't really run, and the fact that I was able to like jog it without stopping, I think it's like a great achievement. And I think I'm coming for the Olympics. I jogged a mile in 11 minutes. And again, for me, amazing. I'm winning a gold medal. But no, I really actually am happy with it. And I don't know if I'm gonna run again today, but I probably will tomorrow. I wanna like track my progress. I need to look up like what's kind of like the average like speed people usually run a mile in. And maybe I can work my way up to that. But I feel like 11 is a solid starting place. So again, I'm happy with it. I think today too though, I am gonna go to the mall to return a suit jacket I got from Express. I got it for Gia's wedding, but the thing is, it's too small, like I need it just like one size up, and I wanted to be able to try it on, but it was like an online only thing. And it also looks slightly too professional. It's not giving wedding, or like bridesman, it's giving more like, I'm hosting a business conference about tech, and we don't want that. And also, I was gonna order it just a size up, but when I bought it, it was like a sale going on, and now it's like, over a hundred dollars more to get it and no. So we gotta return that. So today is a day of returning things. So that's fun. I hope it doesn't rain. I feel like it's going to. I don't mind if it rains later, just not when I'm like out and about, you know? But regardless, I'm gonna go now and I will check back in later. All right, so we're gonna do a Sprouts haul. I dropped um, the package off to return. I stopped at Starbucks. I got the oat milk shake and espresso. I got like the vanilla oat milk shake and espresso. It's just very heavy on the oat milk, like a little more than usual. So I'm not really vibing with it, but it's fine. I did go to Sprouts. Now I was wrong because the USPS, um, office it wasn't the one by the sprouts it was this other one i didn't know of that was like hidden by my gym so and it was like one where it's just the window so it's not like a full service thing you just have to like drop off or receive so that was interesting it was like i felt like i was like in the wizard of oz I like pulled up, it was like, you open the door and then you have to ring for service and then someone, you could just hear footsteps and they just like open the window up. And it was kind of creepy. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick Sprouts haul because 
I can get in trouble at this store. The meals, like, cause I kind of, I was kind of just like walking around, just like figuring out like the layout, cause I had never been. It's kind of smaller than I expected, but it's still like pretty big. It's kind of like a Whole Foods, but not quite. I don't know, definitely cheaper. Like if Whole Foods and Trader Joe's had a baby, that is Sprouts. I went in, I was kind of like looking around, just like getting the lay of the land. I'm just trying to see stuff, but I can tell I'm gonna get in trouble because by the end, I was just putting shit in my cart that like I didn't need. So, and we'll get to that. So one thing I got, I got the so delicious dairy-free cookie dough coconut milk ice cream. Now I thought this would be good because it's a healthy alternative to ice cream. Um, it is ice cream, but it's just healthier than like the dairy ones, like Ben and Jerry's. I made yesterday these like kind of no bake three ingredient oatmeal peanut butter cookies. So I feel like this in the middle of one could be good for like a little mini ice cream sandwich and it won't be insanely bad for me. And so that was my thought process. I also, I saw these mochi things. I really like mochi, but not all mochi is good mochi. So we'll see if this one's actually good. But passion fruit sounded good, so I got that. They had, which I can never find a store to have. This is like my new go-to creamer. It's the Chibani coffee creamer, coconut mocha flavor, and it's plant-based. I prefer plant-based creamers. And I got this like usually when I order through like that Amazon Fresh. And that's usually the only place I can find it. Cause my mom has looked too at like Publix's and other stores and she can find the Chibani, but they never have the coconut mocha. But Sprouts has the coconut mocha. So that is good to know. I did however, because one coffee creamer isn't enough for me. My usual brand Silk. I had never seen the toasted hazelnut flavor before. And I love hazelnut. So I had to get it. So I got it. I saw this plant-based coconut vanilla flavored yogurt. I don't know, it looked nice. I kind of want to like try it out. Cause we have granola at home and I figured it would be good with granola. So we'll see, I don't know. This one I'm kind of like, why did I buy this? I wanted to get a juice and they had actually a lot of decent options, but this one just sounded really good. It was like an orange with elderberry and it also has zinc which I know provides some health benefit. I don't know what health benefit, but I know it's some health benefit. So it's good. But you definitely have to shake it because it has like stuff at the bottom. Now this, I kind of regret getting, but also don't. It's one of those. I was looking through the bakery items. Can I get this? Jesus. And look, a lot of the bakery items didn't look that good, I'll be honest. But then I came across, it just had one left. This banana cake with brown butter icing. I had to get it. It just looks so good and it has little mini chocolate chips. Banana cake's just great. Brown butter icing sounds amazing. And then mini chocolate chips. It's not that unhealthy. Like, could be worse. It's not like I'm gonna eat it all at once. Maybe. Um, we'll see. But it just looks so good. And like, I had to. I only got two more things because this is when I really like realized like I'm just getting shit to get shit. I saw this and I was like, I have to get it. Sparkling lemonade. It looks so nice. It just looks so fancy. And like it's imported from France. I didn't even notice that. But I was thinking like, oh my God, I can pretend I'm in France and like drink this and like pour it. But um, yeah. I'll drink it, but I don't even like drink lemonade like that. So like getting this, it's like, there was no point. I was just getting shit. And then last but not least, I got the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. Now look, I've used this many times before. I don't really know if it works like that, but I saw it and I was like, I should get it. So I'll be adding a scoop of this to my coffee every morning. Again, I don't know if this actually works, but I don't think it hurts either. So I think that's like the most important thing. But that was my Sprouts haul. I gotta get home because this does have ice cream and I don't want it to melt. But I'll check back in when I get home. All right, so it is 10 o'clock at night. I ended up um, coming home, put all the stuff away from Sprouts, just chilled, and then me and my friend went to the mall. I returned the blazer and that was easy. But the only thing is, it started like raining a lot before we left. But then when we got to the mall, like as soon as I parked, it stopped. 
It was like perfect. Then as soon as we get out of the car to like walk to the mall, it starts to storm. Like it just starts raining like even like more than it was before. Like it was atrocious. And I didn't bring my umbrella because I was like when we were getting out of the car, it was fine. But then as soon as like we start to walk, it starts to rain, of course. So that happened, so that was fun. So we got dinner, um, stopped at Barnes and Noble because I was trying to see, because me and Katie are still deciding what book we want to do next for um, the podcast. I sent her a couple options, but she's driving back to Florida now. So she was gonna look at it when she's at the hotel, but I don't know. And then like, I found a book I wanted to get, but I was like, I have a Kindle, I'm just gonna buy it on that. But it was nice to look around. And then um, I went to Home Goods just to look and see. Like, I don't know. I used to like to go to Home Goods all the time, especially when I had an apartment, but there really was nothing that nice. So now I'm back home. I showered, did my skincare, and I'm just watching TV. I did want to show because I feel like this day started off with me returning a pair of shoes that just didn't work for me. I thought I would show y'all a pair of shoes that really work for me that I just got. It came in the mail the other day. They're shoes for Gia's wedding. Look at these. They're dress shoes and they're shiny and they have little bows. Aren't these just darling? I love these shoes so much. I wish I could wear them all the time. Are they expensive? Maybe. But I just like, they're so good. Like my mom was like, why did you get those? You will never wear those again. To which I say, yes I will. I don't know where, but I will. They will be my go-to dress shoes and nice shoes for events or whatever. Um, in the meantime though, they will be in the shoe box because I don't think anything's really coming up that I will want to wear them before the wedding, but I need to keep them safe. I do want to try the banana cake right now. I will say, I tried the mochi, the passion fruit. Amazing. It was so good, like the mochi was really like chewy and then just like the passion fruit flavor ice cream was really good. So that was a win. I tried the cookie dough coconut milk ice cream and I did what I had said I wanted to do with like the no bake oatmeal peanut butter cookies and made like a mini like ice cream sandwich. That was really good. And I also tried the orange juice that had like the elderberry and the zinc. That one was good. Very much orange juice. I'm not the biggest orange juice fan, which is kind of like, I don't know why I got it, but I wanted a juice. I feel like my dad would like it. I like it too. I'll be sure to drink it. But now I do want to try the banana cake. So let's do a taste test. All right, I cut a little piece. This is the banana cake with brown butter icing and it has some chocolate chips and it's from Sprouts. Let's see if it's good. It seems like it's going to be. That's good. That's good. That icing, oh my god. It's like slightly cinnamony, which is probably from the cake. I don't know. That icing though, mmm. And the banana, I love a banana like flavor. Like, I like banana bread. My mom makes the best banana bread with chocolate chips. Also, I was a server when I was in college at this place called 2J's. And it was like a deli, but they had a good bakery. And my favorite cake was the banana dream. And it was a banana cake with chocolate chips in it. And it had like banana cream like in the middle. And it had like a chocolate icing. It also had walnuts around it. I never ate the walnuts, but every other part of it, so good. Like the best cake. Which is really good. I'm only having this piece but I feel like I could eat more. But I'm not going to, because I'm being good. Oh my god. Okay, I'm going to continue watching TV and eat this. And I will check back in tomorrow. Oh, hello. Um, it's about one o'clock Saturday afternoon, and I just tried the sparkling lemonade I got from Sprouts yesterday. It's really good. Very refreshing very like lemony. It tastes a little like Sprite, but like more like lemonade, like in healthier, like it's good. Although this was a purchase that like I didn't really need, I am very glad I got it because I'm definitely gonna get it again. I feel like I'm in France just drinking this. 
I currently don't really have anything planned for the day and I'm kind of okay with it. I think I'm just gonna embrace it. Like I was worried for a minute about like, oh, what am I gonna do today? Like, should I go somewhere? I don't really want to. Like, I think I'm just gonna chill, embrace having nothing to do. I think um, I'm gonna make coffee in a little bit. Maybe I'll watch a movie, edit, watch TV. I don't know. It does look like maybe it's gonna rain though, which I hope it does. Cause days staying at home just are better when it's raining outside. Cause one, you don't feel as bad for staying at home. And two, it just creates a good vibe. I do actually plan on running tonight. Um, hopefully it's not storming tonight. If it's raining a little, I think I still will. Just cause I feel like a run in some light rain, that could be fun. I'll check back in at some point. I don't know when, but I will. All right, so it is 10.45, Saturday night. So today, I pretty much relaxed, like I said I was gonna do, but I did edit a lot of this video, actually. And, you know, I watched TV, I chilled, we had pizza for dinner, and it was really good. It was like this good, spicy Italian pizza we get. However, it did not help me on my run. So I ran tonight, I kept my word on that. I ended up getting a little more time jogging the mile than the last time I did it. Because the last time it was like 11 minutes and eight seconds. This time I did 11 minutes and 47 seconds, which when I first saw disappointed me. However, I got off to a kind of slow start because when I started running, I stretched before, but my legs and my like thighs were so like tight and hurting from the last time I ran. Cause like I've said, I, I don't really be running like that. My body's still recovering. It just like was kind of a really slow start, but then I eased into it. But then I started to feel a little because mm, of the pizza. And I had waited, like I ate the pizza like three hours prior. So I was like, it should be fine. And it was, but I just felt a little like, Ugh. and I also felt like I should have drank a little bit more water. I drank a decent amount of water today, but I felt like I should have drank a little bit more. That being said, 11 minutes and 47 seconds. I'm okay with that. It's like within like 11 minutes still, like it's not far off from what I did the first time. And so, I don't know, I feel like I'm on track. So next time though, I do wanna at least do better than that, but we'll see. Tonight, I actually think I'm gonna start going through my clothes to get rid of them. I've done this a million times, but I just keep buying clothes. But also there's like random clothes I feel like I kept the last time I did it that I don't know why I kept. So I kind of want to get rid of those, but I'm going to start doing that today. However, that's for another video. So I'm going to check back in tomorrow. Hello, it is 11.52 Sunday. I just got lunch. I could not sleep last night at all. I like, I don't know. The thing is, it was one of those nights where you know you just like get so warm, but it's like hot and you can't get cool, and it's just you can't sleep. That was last night. Also, my legs were really hurting. And I think, I guess it's from running, but like, it was like crazy, I don't know. Like, they were just like so sore, just started hurting me so bad. It was intense. So I really, I don't even think I fell asleep until like past three. I woke up like just before 10, so I didn't sleep that late, but it was just thrown off. I was supposed to record the podcast at um, 11, but look, for me, listen, when I wake up, I like to like stay in the bed and like really like wake up. Like, I don't know, like I like to have my coffee in bed. I like to relax. It takes me a while to wake up after I wake up. So I just knew 11 was gonna be like too soon after waking up. So I was like, can we actually do like three, like the afternoon? Cause neither of us had plans. We had just picked the morning to like get it done with. But I was just like, can we actually do three? And Katie was like, yeah, that's fine. I don't care. So at three o'clock we are recording. In the meantime, I've lately been addicted to the Italian subs from Firehouse Subs. Look how beautiful that is. However, I like to add a couple things. Now, the thing is, this sandwich typically comes with um, deli mustard, 
And I don't really like the deli mustard with it. I like my Italians with like yellow mustard. Now, I'm sure they have yellow mustard there and they can add it, but it didn't show up in Uber Eats like as like something you can add. You could probably type it in the notes, but no worries because I have my own yellow mustard. So, after that's done, Lay's potato chips, original. Now I usually preferred baked, which they kind of taste like cardboard, but I like it. Now, but these are like good on this, so I'm fine. And then you don't have baked as an option. I know, I'm doing something crazy, adding chips to a sandwich. That's never been done before. But I actually usually, like I sometimes do it, but I usually don't do it that much. But I really like doing it with this particular sandwich. It adds a crunch, adds a little saltiness. It's just good. I've gotten this sandwich now three times in like one week. I got it yesterday for lunch. And after I had it yesterday, I was like, I'm good. I can wait a little until I have it again. But then last night I was like really craving it. So I was like, I'm gonna get it for lunch again. I also got a side pickle. Cause that's what you do when you get a sandwich. Oh, I also add, I forgot. I also add um, green peppers and chopped pickles. They don't add too much, but they add just enough. It's just so good. Okay, I'm gonna eat this and I'll watch TV. I will check back in later. Such a freaking mess. Do you want to say hi to YouTube? Hi YouTube. Why are we saying hi to YouTube? I would are do, you vlogging today? I was vlogging like this weekend and I mentioned how we're doing the podcast. Oh, it's Katie's dog. It's Luna. Hi Luna. Um, over here. I talked earlier about how we were supposed to do 11, but then I was like, can we do three? But, um, <laughs> and then I was like, can we do later? Yeah, no, it's like 5.30, but we're getting That's it done. Perfect. And we did decide, uh, I talked about also how we were debating what book to do next, and we mm -hmm. did decide, but if y'all want to know, y'all got to listen to the pod, okay? It's true. True story. True story. All right. Got a little steak and lobster for dinner. Shout out to the bags of clothes I'm getting rid of. That video is coming soon. But um, I think that's pretty much it for today's video. I was editing it and it's already like at 20 minutes. So I think that's long enough. Um, I'm gonna eat this dinner. I'm gonna watch TV. I'm gonna finish editing. And then there's Housewives of Atlanta and New York on tonight. So I'm watching those. But um, yeah, thank y'all so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye.